Hey guys, it's January 20th. It's about 11 o'clock at night. Um, I had a very productive day, craft-wise. So, I cleaned my craft room. It's still kind of a mess, but... Biggest one is that I cleaned my closet and got that all organized. And I made two project bags which I will show you in just a second. And I got a row of stitching done. So I'm currently at row 103. I'll be going, I'll be starting 104. Um, which isn't a lot. I've been so ever since my work thing. Um, I basically got into Zelda Breath of the Wild and continued a game I had already started, um, but just took some time off to to work or to let's say work on that, but play it. And but yeah, otherwise, oh, there's Kitty. Otherwise, I felt like I got a lot done today. Um, it actually had nothing to do with the Netflix show. I just kind of have a tendency to when I craft I just throw stuff on the floor and it all kind of accumulates and then I'll just throw it in the closet and that's pretty much it so it was time for a major overhaul reorganize um, but I did finish that everything has a place now except for a few a couple of things I need to hang I'm working on a new way to store all of my dye for my fabric, um, and I have a way to do it. I'm going to put it in a spice rack, but I just haven't hung that yet. So I have it, I just haven't hung it. So enough talking from me, let's take a look at the project bags. Well first off, there is my organized closet. Trust me, it's a lot more organized than it used to be. <laughs> all my diamond ping tings are hung, and I think I'm actually going to reinstall the doors on there but we'll see but here is I also got these done today too I got these oops that one broke I'm gonna make a garland out of these um, flowers of all different colors that I cut with my Cricut so I had these all cut out but I got a lot of them glued but yeah so here's the first project bag I made so as you can see, I did not use ribbon on this one. So this will hold my Christmas projects. I do have another fabric in mind for the Christmas one, for my Christmas ones. Um, but I wanted to use this one first. I still have a lot of this left over, so I might make it bigger, but I figured this one will hold all of the small ones, like my ornaments. So it's not perfect, or you can see the corners are a little wonky, I'm still working on those. However, the second one I did today, so this one took me a while, and I think it was because of this. It just seemed to, and I need to actually, as you can see, I need to do this further down, I need to put another set of stitches in there. Um, but yeah, this one seemed to take me a long time, and I don't know why. I think it was because it took so long to get these. I don't even, it didn't feel like it took that long to get these done. I don't know. It seemed like it took a while. My second one turned out a lot better. So that one is... Sorry to reach down and grab it. This is my favorite one I've made so far. So this fabric, on, like the white background, is actually sparkly. I got these for Halloween. This is a ribbon, so I definitely think I'm going to use the ribbon from now on because it seems to go a lot quicker. I got this bag totally done in about two hours. And if you guys are my Instagram followers and you've already seen this, yes, I had to do a double row of stitching. I realized that it actually doesn't show up this well in real life, but I had done my basting stitches and I forgot to change the width while I was stitching the actual stitches, so I just went ahead and went over it. Well, I might remove these later, we'll see. Some of them, like here, I ended up going over. So they won't be as easy to remove, but... 
not that bad. And then here is the back. This looks like it glows or like it's shiny, but it's actually not. It's just white, so. It's showing up much brighter on the camera than it does in real life. But yeah, I saw this fabric and had to have it. I built like 900 Harry Potter fabrics, I feel like. Although, to be honest, I think I only have two. <laughs> oh no, I have three, I think. But yeah, so with this one, I did try to do the corners better. I've tried to actually like fold them. This actually isn't the tab. It's just the fabric itself. It's not perfect. Something here, this is just a gap. But I suck at wrapping presents too, so this definitely um, has a part in that. <laughs> but compared to my first bag that I made, that I know you guys just saw, but this one ended up being about the same size. Like it feels like the corners, I've definitely improved on my corners, that's for sure. So even from there, where it's still like folded over, like that, I feel like has improved from this one. Where it looks like it's like doubled up and stuff. I don't know, that one's not too bad, maybe it's just me. But yeah, so got a lot done today. I now have enough project bags. I was going to stop just after the Christmas one, but I was in the mood for it, so I just kept going. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so now I have a place for all my projects. So this will be my Halloween ones, my Christmas ones, and all my non-holiday ones. Because I don't really stitch holidays. Except for Halloween and Christmas, so... Except for I do have that 12-month um, hands-on design one that it seems like everybody's doing. So those will be holiday, but I still need to figure out. <laughs> I still need to figure out how I need, or I'm going to finish those. But since I haven't even started them yet, I think I have time. I have no plans to start that one in the future. Well, the near future. So, yeah. Thanks for hanging out to me. I hope to get more progress. Just seeing all of the crafts that I have waiting, like I want to get those painted for next year. Yeah, just seeing all that makes me a little anxious, not gonna lie. Because I want to get it all done and want to get it hung up, but it's gonna be a while. Oops. As you can see, that was one of my Christmas presents, my Zelda um, it's basically just like an encyclopedia of all things Zelda. <laughs> all the games and whatnot. Got my candle going. And so when I said, yeah, that I tend to make a mess, this is clean. <coughs> Sorry. But yeah, now it's covered in a bunch of fabric and whatnot that I just used and actually didn't use. That's going to come up. But I got all of my stands and stuff over there, my frames and whatnot. That goes back in the closet because I just finished using it. And I need to figure out what to do with all my fabric. But I think the um, spice rack is going to go right there in the middle. And it leaves more room otherwise. Yep, all my pens and pencils coffee because my husband doesn't drink coffee so I keep the coffee maker in here. I know I never actually took you guys on a tour because this is honestly the cleanest it's been so consider this my craft room tour. <laughs> um, I got more fabric there that I wasn't using but that's all filled with fabric and charts so like the top one is all charts the second one is all of the dyed Ada and even even all that and then I have all of the like undyed fabric and then I have, and the bottom is 
on like my finishing fabric and stuff, which is where those will end up because that's where I got them from. So now that I'm going to be making project bags using ribbon, I do need to buy more ribbon. Um, so I think I'm going to use that 40% off Joann's coupon that they have right now. It's 40% off everything. Um, oh, I also did this. Totally forgot. So I didn't have an ironing board. I asked for one for Christmas, didn't get one. So I made one. So I used the leftover fabric I had and just got a two foot by two foot board. Um, it's an MDF board. And put some batting on it and just stapled it to the back. So that's been working out really well so far. All I have to do is stick it on my desk. Um, so I basically just switch back and forth between that and that. And that's my full circle tour. So I know this is a long clip, but it's been a couple of days since I've seen you guys, so I hope you don't mind. Thank you guys for all the comments. You guys have been awesome. Um, it seems like everybody really likes this new format, so I think I'm going to stay up with it. Oh yeah, and I Baba needed some floss today, too. Luckily my machine does that, because... Otherwise, that would not happen. <laughs> so, I will see you guys all later. Bye. Hi, hey guys. So, it is Tuesday the 21st, I think. Um, yesterday was a holiday in the U.S., so we had the day off of school, slash work, slash everything. Um, I didn't do any crafting, not gonna lie. I... <laughs> The good news is, is that video gaming is now out of my system for a while. I'm still going to play the new game um, when it comes out, the Kingdom Hearts game. But I think I'm done playing Breath of the Wild for a while. Because I played it basically all day yesterday, and so I think I'm kind of sick of it. Not sick of it, it's a fun game. Um, but I was at a pretty good stopping place, and now I just want to stitch again. So, good news there. Um, it's about 5 o'clock, so I have to go leave in a few, little bit to get my husband. Um, I just got back from Joann's to some Happy Meals, so I'm going to share all of that with you. Then I'm probably going to do some non-stitchy related crafty stuff. Well, it might be stitchy related. I'm going to do some stuff in my craft room because since I only have an hour left before I get my husband, um... I don't really want to start stitching because I like to like settle in for the night. So, um, I actually had a plan for what I was going to do as far as what I was going to work on after I finished the video. And I completely forgot what it was, so I'll probably work on the garland and get that going. Anyway, enough talking from me. So, the stuff that I got at Joann's is still in the bag, so I apologize for that. I basically all I got was ribbons and zippers. So I got these four zippers. They have a, I think I told you guys, a 40% off everything coupon. So yeah, these four zippers, which is like an icy blue. This is a really cool color. It's like a pinkish purple. It's called Laurel. Um, Yale blue, which is like a really dark. Uh, these aren't coming up. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna flip you guys around um, and show you guys under my outlight because the lighting in here is awful. So hang on just a sec. Okay, so this is much better and I still didn't take my stuff out <laughs> of the pack. But so I got, so this is the blue. The ice. This really cool laurel. That is showing up pretty true to color. I got this really cool Misty Spruce one. And I have plans for two of them. Then I got a bunch of ribbon. Um, because they had the 40% off sale, everything was... Well, not everything. The zippers didn't count because they were considered a sewing notion. But... I was able to get the sparkly dark blue, 
sparkly red. This is a cool, it's black, but then it's got the green sparkle, which I think you might be able to see. It's glary, but which I think this would look really cool with some Halloween patterns. And the silver. And then I got this was 30% uh, off because it was St. Patrick's Day. Then these were both in the clearance bin, so they were $1.97 each. So I got this like blue sparkle and then this black sparkle. Well, I guess it's more like a dark gray. These are a little thinner than I normally use, but they'll still work. And I can always double up if I need to. So that's all the stuff I got at Joann's. It was a quick trip, but it was still ended up being more expensive than I was planning. Because doesn't that always happen? So, if you guys remember, I got the Summer Country Cottage Needleworks patterns. Um, they had winter, but summer, or sorry, spring and autumn were both sold out. However, spring came back in stock, so I went ahead and got the spring pattern. I didn't get the fancy floss for it because on one, two, three stitch, they usually have, like, we, you can add everything to the card at the same time, and they didn't have it for this, so I think they might have been um, sold out of it. But it uses the spring grass um, sampler thread, so I will get that. I also got the Eve's Leaves uh, Classic Color Works for the summer pattern, as well as the Weeks Dye Works Sally Sunshine, which that shows it up a little better. It's like a yellow and a white, slightly variegated. So since I got spring, I went ahead and got summer, or sorry, went ahead and got winter. I love all the browns in there, which you wouldn't really think would go in a winter pattern, but I think they really make the blues and the greens pop. And these use cocoa and grape leaf, so I did get those. So the gassed grape leaf, which isn't really variegated. I just thought it was a pretty color. It's a little variegated. Just some darker, slightly darker and slightly lighter greens. And the cocoa, which you're not going to be able to tell, but it is like this. Well, I wish you can see it a little bit. It's this really pretty color. It's definitely more of a milk chocolate than a dark chocolate. So I don't know if it's really like... It's definitely more cocoa, not hot cocoa. But it's basically just got some very slight variations in the light and dark brown. So like I said, they were out of autumn. However, I got an email a couple of days later saying it was back in stock. So I went ahead and got that in a separate order. This is the last of the patterns I'm going to be buying for quite a while. And then this has the Harvest Moon Gentle Art, which is not super variegated, but it's this really cool, like orange, like pumpkin-y orange color. And the Bean Sprout. So this one has some more yellows. Oh, there we go. So this one you can actually see a little bit, like you can see this yellow bit right here next to the darker green. This is kind of a pea green color in real life. So I got those and then I had also gotten some fancy flosses for my peacock sampler, my sparkling peacock sampler from Chatelaine, which I'm kind of buying those a little bit at a time. So I got 
the PB38, PB33, SP39, and SP63. So I got two, sil two silk lames and then two petite treasure braids. These look actually, these looked really similar when I first opened them. So I thought I had gotten the wrong kind, but yeah, you can actually see they're quite a bit different in quote unquote real light. Then actually this one had looked a lot like them too, but. See, I'm really excited to work with this one. This is a really cool color. Then I also got, I wasn't gonna get the Glorianas, but I went, decided to go ahead and I'm glad I did because I got the copper, which you can definitely see the variegation in this one. So it's got those pinks and oranges, the rusty red, very cool. Then I got Deep Blue Sea, which is Gloriana. And you can see that one pretty well too. Lots of teals and greens. Oops, I don't want to focus, there we go. Then I got the Dinky Dyes Pindy. There is, I thought about getting all of the collar, the rest of the collars, the rest of the colors that I needed, but they didn't have them all. So I'm getting calls for one more Dinky Dye and I think a bunch more. Um, like basically everything else, Gloriana's, and still quite a few Silk Lame and Petite Treasure Braids. So this one doesn't really have a ton of variation in it, so that's why I first didn't get it. I don't know why, I, I thought the the copper was um, Dinky Dyes, but apparently not. I might have gotten those mixed up. I think, th I think the other Dinky Dyes might have been out of stock, so. I think I will try to get the rest of them in one go. Probably when I get the other fancy floss for the spring. Then the last one I got, this one's really cool, is Lavender Ice. So it's got some like browns and blues, green. Well, it's kind of more like a sea green. And then a very small amount of purple. Which you can't really tell. Well, I guess you can look right there. So this one's going to be a lot of fun to stitch. And that's all I got. So my plan is going to be... Oh, actually, hang on. I'm going to bring you guys back around. So like I said, my plan is going to be to do something crafty related um, until it's time to get my husband. But I did want to give you guys an update. Um, I had a lot of you guys comment about my work situation. Uh, thank you guys very much for that. Basically what happened was the meeting was about changing our pay. I don't remember what I told you guys last time, but the meeting was about changing our pay um, to go to an hourly system instead of the per student rate. We didn't like what they had offered. Um, so we came up and they were pretty, they were open-minded about it. Um, they basically said, if you guys have other solutions, like talk about it and let us know. So we countered with like three or four offers of our own. And they decided to go ahead and keep us at our current rate until the end of the school year. Because I don't think they realized how our system, like how our stuff, like... Because we have a lot of actors and we have a lot of um, just different kinds of students that chose home study because they couldn't fit in the regular school hours. Um, they didn't realize that we were getting calls from our kids sometimes at like eight o'clock at night that we would have to answer. And so we would like have to do Skype calls and stuff. So I don't think they realized all that. And so basically everything is on hiatus. So I think they actually wanna come out and see how our program is run and what it looks like. And then we'll kind of come up with a solution from there. So 
as of right now, we're okay, but everything is up in the air um, until probably, like we haven't heard a for sure date, but probably until the end of the school year. So everything's good for that. Um, trying to think if I have anything else to tell you guys, and I don't think I do. So I'm going to go put away my stuff. And I think I am going to stitch these patterns on... I'm trying to think of a color. Like, I can't use white because there is some white in the clouds and stuff on a couple of these patterns. So I might try to do, like, a light gray. But a kind of, like, a sky blue color, too. So we'll see. <laughs> um, as of right now, though... I really want to do white, so I may have to look into seeing what my flosses look like, seeing what white flosses look like on the white fabric I have. So that is all I have for you. I'm going to start stringing some flowers, probably making some more flowers, and I will see you guys all next time. I still haven't hung up my spice rack, so sorry. <laughs> Bye. I'm back. I totally forgot I got something else. And you guys probably saw it and are yelling at me. So I got a new mug from Society6. So this is the World Travel Bookshelf by Amy Stewart. And I like these new ones because I have an old one for comparison. They're bigger and they're metal. So as you can see, it actually, even though the old one is still clear, this actually looks more clear, but that could just be from use. I don't think it is, um, but you can definitely see a difference in person. And it's got a really well-fitting clear lid, which I love. And so now I don't need to worry about breaking this one like I did my last one. They are a little bit pricey, but if you sign up for their emails, they have a lot of sales and stuff. Um, and they actually pay the artist. And they gave me some stickers. So, yeah. And that's all I have for you. No, it's not. I bought some Heaven and Earth designs. I'll be right back. Okay, so first I got two patterns um, that I got both in minis. I was always afraid to get mini patterns from Hade because I always felt that I wanted the bigger size to get more detail. But since I've started doing diamond paintings, I see how much detail can actually go into a smaller piece. So the first one I got was the Christmas mailbox. I know you guys have probably seen this one around. And then I got The Goblin King. Because Labyrinth is my favorite movie and was kind of a theme at my wedding. Then I decided that I couldn't pass up the half off sale. So I went ahead and got... This one for some reason didn't save in the camera roll. Oh, no, my iPad wants to update. So then I went ahead and got World Travel Bookshelf. <laughs> so I have, I think at this point, all of the bookshelves that I want, um, which is the World Travel, the Museum, the Amazing Animal Kingdom, and the World Tre Treasure Hunt. Yeah, I think it's Treasure Hunt. Um, I still have, there's one more that I kind of want. I haven't decided on it yet though. And that is because they are so big, they're going to take forever to stitch. Um, but that is the, oh, what is the name of it? The, like, science fiction, Jules Verne, I forget which one it is. That one. Now that's everything. I'm 90% sure. <laughs> if not, I'll be back. Bye. Hey guys, it's me again. It is the 23rd. It's about seven o'clock at night. My husband is at a 
kind of, from what I understand, it's like a yearly um, remembrance ceremony for his grandfather who passed a few years ago um, that they hold in their synagogue. So I am home. We're in the middle of report card season right now, so a little stressed. And I just added to it by getting in an argument on Facebook with somebody about teachers getting paid less. Or, as he was arguing, nobody needs teachers and we don't need, like, everybody should just homeschool their kids. Because teachers are not important. <laughs> I don't know why I do these things to myself, but whatever. Um, I'm about to start row 104. Um, and I know it's been a while since you guys have seen it, so I'll show it to you. I thought I had already finished 104, but I think I was thinking I had, I don't know what I was thinking, actually. It's been one of those weeks. Um, actually, the week hasn't been too bad so far. But, yeah, I've got some floss tube queued up, and, um... We'll see what I get done tonight. I haven't played Zelda in the last two days. But Kingdom Hearts is still coming, so. In about a week. Okay. I won't be stitching very much. Um, but yeah, let me show you where I'm at. Because I know it's been a while since you guys have seen it. So here he is. I'm just starting to close up that big... See right there, that big... um blank spot and just chugging along so I'm starting to like close up that blank spot but this dark spot right here is getting a little lighter but I think coming up there will be a lot of this color I mean more than there is now it's gonna look more like that spot but I think this edge closes up a little bit um, but I don't know if that's the next row of pages or the row after so to finish this row of pages I have let's see 13 rows left if my calculations are correct I would like to finish it before this month um, namely before I get the video game but we will see Hey guys, it is the 24th, and it is about 3.45. I have some work to do tonight. Um, I've gotten a lot of students recently, and with report cards due, it's been a mess. I think I have like five student appointments tomorrow alone, so I have to get everything graded. Um, I try to do it when I'm at work, but today was just too nuts, and I really want to get it off my plate, so... I'm going to stitch for, I'm probably going to stitch a row right now, and then I will hopefully get my grading done in a good amount of time, and then see if I can stitch another row tonight. So, I'm already in my pajamas, because I'm not moving. Mm -mm. I did end up taking my, um, some of my cross stitch to bed with me last night. <laughs> I woke up this morning and this string that's got like four strands on it was in my bed sheets. Don't know how I got there. But I will, I'm starting on the same place I was last clip, I think. No, I'm starting on row 105. I did do one last night. So I will be doing that and I will see you guys all later. Bye. Hey guys. It is the 26th of January. It's about 5.15. Um, I only finished one row last night because my husband ended up needing my help to install a new toilet. So we did that. We still have one more to install, but he is currently out of the house. We went to Home Depot today, and I'm currently finishing row 108. I'm going to try to get 109 done tonight as well. We won't have very much to do tomorrow, or I won't have much to do tomorrow on it because we're going to Disneyland, I guess. I just found out like an hour ago. So, yeah, um, let me show you where I'm at. So here's where I am. As you can see, I'm almost done with the row. Oops. 
I just have to go back the other way so I'm just finishing it up going this way. I am starting to get the gardening itch so <clears throat> sorry I choked on my spit a little bit earlier and I'm still trying to get it out of my throat. Um, so I basically want to build some gardening some like raised gardening beds in my backyard and plant some citrus trees and I was going to do that tomorrow but now that I can't I'm going to either have to do it in the middle of the week or wait until two weekends because it's supposed to rain next weekend so yeah we'll see where I'm at with it and how much I can get done I would like to actually start my plants indoors I think except for the trees um, but I haven't quite decided when I want to go in the planter bed and I still have to build those so some more time is going to be taken out to finish those and start those <laughs> um, and I'm still trying to figure out how big I want them to be and stuff so so we are about let me see we starting row nine, which means I have seven rows left until the end of the page. So I think I can get that done before January ends, but we'll see. All right, guys, talk to you later. Hey, guys, it is the 28th of January. My game has shipped. It is on its way. It will be here tomorrow. Um, we were at Disneyland all day yesterday, and so... I didn't get as much done as I was hoping, but I did reach row 110, and so I'm going to go ahead and call it there. Um, I need six more rows to finish the page, but I'm super tired today and don't even really want to stitch tonight, and then I get my game tomorrow, so I figure that's a good stopping point for now, and... That way, when I come back to it, I'll know exactly where I'm starting. Because I thought about finish going, ugh, going ahead and finishing the page. Um, but since we're in the middle of report cards right now, and we're in the middle of, like, I got, like, three new students. So I had to get them all set up. And basically, it's like setting up three different classrooms. So, yeah. I am basically just calling it there. I'm going to play some Zelda, just until I get my game tomorrow and like I said that way I'll know where I'm gonna be at when I come back I won't be in like row 102 or something random or 112 or something random so I'm gonna end this series of videos um, hopefully I will get it posted tomorrow but thank you all for liking and subscribing and if you have any comments or questions let me know below and I will see you guys all next time bye